I am Brother Stephen Elabo, welcoming you to the Life Bible Church, Charlottesville, United States, a place where the undiluted Word of God is being preached. You are about to listen to our general superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, as a comfort to share the mind of God with you and your family. I want you to be ready to pick up your pen and your paper and jot down important messages as they will do you good. God bless you and remain blessed. I'm reading two passages of scriptures to you. One in Lamentation. And the other one in Ezekiel. One in the book of Lamentation. And I'm reading from chapter 3 of Lamentation. I'm reading there from verse 15. And then I will jump over to Ezekiel. There's a connection between those two passages tonight. Look at Lamentation chapter 3 verse 15. He has filled me with be. Bitterness. You notice one word there, it, it's called bitterness. He has filled me with bitterness. He has made me drunken with one wood. He has also broken my teeth with gravel stones. He has covered me with ashes. And thou hast removed my soul far off from peace. I forget prosperity. And I said, my strength and my hope is perished from the Lord. Remembering my affliction and my mystery, the warm word and the God. My soul has them still in remembrance. And is humbled in me. Now if you notice one word in verse 15. He has filled me with bitterness. With bitterness. I want you to pick that word bitter. There's lamentation all over the world. In our city here, there's lamentation almost everywhere. There's a lamentation that talks of bitterness. And life is bitter. In the family, there's bitterness. In the community, there's bitterness. As we look at poverty, as we look at affliction, as we look at suffering, as we look at, as we look at all the deprivations of people. There's one word you can talk about. And there's something you can point out as what has happened to people or what is happening to people. And it's the one word Peter that explains everything. Now I'm coming to Ezekiel chapter 36. And there you'll find that connection. Between the passage I read to you in Lamentation and the passage we're looking at in Ezekiel. In Ezekiel chapter 36, I'm reading from verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 11. It says, And I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase. Here is the promise of the Lord. The Lord is giving us a promise here. And he's saying, I will. I tell you, as you look at this chapter, all over, over, and over, and over again, the Lord tells us what he will do. He will do something in your life tonight. Somebody there said he will do something in your life tonight. And then he says, I will. There is the willingness of God in your life today. The faithfulness of God in your life today. The power of God in your life today. Is going to change that bitter situation in your life today in Jesus' name. That's why it says, and I will multiply upon you, man and beast. And they shall increase. I will bring fruit. Fruitfulness will come 
to our lives in Jesus' name. Where there is barrenness, where there is sickness, where there is suffering, where there is affliction, the Lord is going to turn everything around. And then he tells us that I will settle you after your old estates. First of all, talking to, talking to the children of Israel. As a nation talking to them. The prosperity they knew in the past. Which they couldn't see anymore. The peace of God they had in the past. Which they didn't have anymore. And the security they had in the past. Which they could not have anymore. The Lord was saying. Although the story is like a bitter story everywhere. A bitter situation everywhere. And a bitter kind of suffering everywhere. A painful condition everywhere. The Lord is saying a time of change had come for that nation. And for you here tonight, a time of change has come. A time of transformation has come. And a time of miracle has come to you tonight in Jesus' name. And then if you look at that verse 11 of Ezekiel 36, it says, and I will do better unto you than at your beginnings. He said, it's going to turn every situation around in our lives. And you shall know that I am the Lord. He said, a practical knowledge will come to you. That he is the Lord. The Lord God of miracles. And the Lord God of power. And the Lord God of all impossibilities. And the Lord that comes to your life tonight. And he says, it's going to turn your crying to laughter. It's going to turn your sorrow to joy. And it's going to turn the suffering. It's going to bring wonders in your life in Jesus' name. What's the connection between lamentation and Ezekiel? In lamentation, when people lament, they cry. When people lament, they are sorrowful. When people lament, it's like six have turned upside down. That's why lamentation says all you can say about life is that life is bitter. And as lamentation talks about being bitter, personal life bitter, family bitter, community bitter, employment situation bitter, economy better, bitter. everything appears to be bitter. And we cannot have a place of peace and the joy and the prosperity and the good things we used to have. We cannot see them, we cannot have them. And so we get into lamentation. And the one word you find in lamentation Peter, 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 here comes Ezekiel, and he brings another word, and he brings the word better. Tonight, everything will change from better to better. Are you there if you believe? Are you there if you know there is God? Are you there if you know there is redemption? Are you there if you know God is going to do it in your life? Peter will turn to better. It will happen to somebody there. What is that person there? Uncommon power, uncommon power is coming your way. I'm talking to you on the wonder of turning bitter to better. The wonder. 
Iyano, the miracle, he said, Iyano, the power, Adara, the anointing if I'm wrong, that changes bitter to better. Coming out of lamentation and coming into liberation, moving out of bondage and moving into blessing, moving out of oppression and coming to the prosperity of the Lord, turning your bitter into better. Actually, if you look at those two words, Peter and better, if you write those two words down, Peter and better, they are almost the same. They are very near each other. There is only one letter that is different. The I in Peter wants to change it to an E. All the other things there, everything becomes better. You know why life is bitter? You know why life is bitter? You know why better things have not come? Because of that single eye. Who is the I? That's the individual right there. Once there's a change of that individual, there's a change of that I. There's a transformation of that I. There is a touch from heaven on that I. Once we pick up that I, and we say, you are the problem in the word beater, I will pick that up. And I pick you up. And God picks you up. And he takes that eye. And he bends you over. And he turns you over. And we have an E. Emmanuel comes to your life. Somebody there, I said Emmanuel comes to your life. I goes away. And it is not I that lives. It is Christ Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God was us. The power of transformation. The power of miracle work. The power of wonders. We take that I. You are the one standing in the way. That's why life is bitter. You are the one standing there and you will not move. You are the one that has not given place to Emmanuel. But once tonight, I move I out of the way. And he comes over there. And Emmanuel comes over there. Power will come to your life. Those blind eyes will open. Get that eye out of the way, I said prosperity will come. Get that eye out of the way, I said healing will come. Get that eye out of the way, let Emmanuel come. Let Jesus come. Let Christ come. Every bitter sin in your life will turn to better tonight. Somebody there, I'm looking at you. Glorious days have come. Better days have come. Miracle days have come. The power day has come. I turn into an E. I coming out of the way. Individualism coming out of the way. Emmanuel taking the place when it comes in your heart. Behold, I stand at the door and know. If any man will hear my voice and he will not be rigid and just standing as if uh -uh, nothing will happen. If I will get out of the way I will allow Christ to come in. Christ is coming to your life today. Somebody there, are you there? I said Christ is coming to your life today. Salvation will come. Healing will come. Deliverance will come. Power will come. Emmanuel will enter your life. Emmanuel, you will never be the same again in oh. Jesus' name. Oh, the wonder of turning Peter 
to better. The wonder of turning bitter to better. Three things we're going to look at. I know Ezekiel is the one conducting us to the better life tonight. Ezekiel is the one showing you how to come out of bitter to better. It says lamentation will close up in your life. Lamentation will finish in your life. All those tears, everything will come to an end tonight. Ezekiel said, follow me, I'll show you the way. Ezekiel said, let that I go out of the way and better things are going to come. Ezekiel said, let that I go out of the way and better things are going to come. Ezekiel said, let poverty go, power will come, prosperity will come. Ezekiel says, let sin go out and salvation will come. Ezekiel said, let sin go out of the way, eternal life will come. Let that I bench. Let that I bow. Let it give submission to the Lord Jesus. Let the I quit and give way to Emmanuel Christ to come. And your life will never be the same again. What's the sequel saying? How to turn bitter to better. renunciation of the bitter life. Only a uh, 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 balaja a yeto tikoro. The renunciation and the rejection and the turning away of the bitter lie. He only keep on if he a yeto tikoro. He consider this. He says, identify the bitter lie. Only that he koro yema. Renounce it. Consider. Reject it. Tano. Turn away from it. You father crow ni no. Push it away. He said back on. And separate yourself. From that bitter life. And say from tonight. I, I reject bitterness. From tonight. I reject the suffering. From tonight. I reject my sin. I, I allow the better sin to come. I allow the wonders to come. I allow the powers to come. Tonight I'm telling you. That your life will turn around. The renunciation of the bitter life. Number two. The blessedness of a blessed and the, the restoration of a blessed life. Restoration. 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 Everything you have lost. Every good thing that you have lost in your life. Restoration is coming tonight. I said restoration is coming tonight. Number one is renunciation. That bitter sin push it away. And this blessed life. The saved life. This transformed life. Restoration. The restoration of a blessed life. Number three, the realization of a better life. Before you live there tonight, you will realize something. Before you live there tonight, power will come from heaven. Anointing that breaks every yoke will come. And the anointing will drive away every bitter sin out of your life. Your life will become better from tonight in Jesus' name. I somebody there will say Amen. The realization of a better life. Let's look at what Ezekiel is saying. The first step you take. Moving out of the bitter life to the blessed life. The first thing you are called to do. Moving out of what is bitter. Moving out of your suffering. Moving out of your darkness. And coming into the light of his blessing. It's in Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel chapter 18. I remember what Ezekiel is telling us. Remember what Ezekiel is showing us. Remember the reason Ezekiel is talking to us. He's telling us how to come out of bitter to better. 
says it begins with renunciation. It begins with rejecting something. It begins with pushing away something out of your life. It tells us in Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Have I any pleasure? This is God talking through Ezekiel. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Says the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and leave. Oh, his ways and leave. To return. To reject. To repent. To repent. To repent. To repent. To turn away. For everything that makes your life bitter. Ezekiel is telling us. Sin and suffering are connected. Sin and sickness are connected. Sin and bitterness are connected. Sin and evil are connected.